everyone, welcome to video four of my mini sourdough series of baking sourdough for busy moms, showing you how to make your own starter, how to maintain your starter, my 30 minute bread making method. Congratulations, you have created a starter, you have maintained it, you have brought it to life. You literally created living bacteria and culture and you brought something to life. It's alive. And you've made your dough and you're finally ready to bake your first loaf of sour sourdough perhaps. So today I'm teaching you how to bake your sourdough. So what you're gonna need is obviously your proofed sourdough from the night before and a Dutch oven. First things first, we're gonna take our Dutch oven empty. We're gonna place it into a cold oven. Middle rack. And you're gonna preheat your oven with your Dutch oven inside because you're preheating your Dutch oven as well. And this is the key to making delicious sourdough. Preheat your oven to 450 degrees. And while that is preheating, you can go ahead and take your sourdough out of the fridge. So this is my sourdough from last night. Happy little sourdough in a basket. Again, if you guys want to have the link for all of the tools that I use, I got a pack on Amazon that I love. I will share that below, but you, this could just be a bowl. You don't need a fancy basket. We're just gonna let this sit on the counter to kind of come up to room temperature while this preheats. Okay, once your oven is almost finished preheating or it preheated, it's fine to do it, wait, grab yourself a square of parchment paper. Then you're gonna take your bread, your dough, bowl, basket, whatever you have, and flip it upside down into the middle of the paper and gently pull it out. Now again, you don't need a fancy scoring knife. You can use a regular knife. You can use a regular razor blade. I was using razor blades for years. I only recently got a kit that came with my bowl and my scoring knife. I will link that on Amazon down below. You don't need anything fancy. And now you're literally just gonna cut. You could just cut one big slit down here. You could do designs. I like to be a little fancy with mine because I think it's fun. You literally don't have to. You could just do a big X in the middle of your dough, whatever. We're just scoring the top to release the steam as it rises so it doesn't burst. It just helps get a good rise and not have so many bubbles in your bread. I'm gonna have a little fun with this and make this cute little pattern for this video. You can Google so many sourdough patterns scoring patterns or designs. Simple little slices, you'd be surprised how pretty it looks when it's baked. And that's what it looks like once we finish scoring it. Shallow little cuts, and because I'm doing so many, I don't need to do a big cut in this, on the side. All right, next you're gonna pull out your hot Dutch oven. Take the lid off and very carefully pick up your sourdough loaf and place it into the center of your pot. I rip off the corners that are going to stick out of my pot so that my lid can go on properly. something I do that not everybody does. I put ice cubes into my Dutch oven between the paper and the pot. I'm using five ice cubes. So I'm just going to slip them in between the paper and the pot. I do this because personally I live in Alberta, Canada and it is very dry here. We have almost no humidity in our air. Um, so this creates steam to help my bread have a better rise. I've been baking with this method since the beginning. I love it. I'm a big fan of the ice cube method. You don't have to do this, but I don't get a good rise if I don't put ice cubes in. Lid goes back on, and now you can insert this entire Dutch oven back into your hot oven. And you're gonna set your timer for 20 minutes. And that's not completed, but after 20 minutes, I'll show you what you do next. It's been 20 minutes, so we're gonna take the Dutch oven out. And we're just gonna quickly remove the lid, set the lid aside, and we're halfway done. Look how lovely and big that is. 
all that steam helped it rise. We're gonna put it back in without a lid for 15 minutes. Okay, after the 15 minutes, you can go ahead and take your bread out. You have completed. You want a nice golden dark color. You can go a little darker than this with sourdough, but this is done. Now we're just gonna let it cool on the stove with the lid off until it's completely cooled. My trick for keeping sourdough soft and delicious is I actually keep it in my Dutch oven. Once it's completely cooled, you do not want to cut into your bread until it has completely cooled, as tempting as it might be, because that steam releasing inside the bread is going to make it soft and delicious and fluffy. Um, so you don't want to cut it until it's completely cooled. Once it's completely cooled, I store it in my Dutch oven with my lid on. It never lasts the full day, so by the time I need to bake a new loaf, I could just quickly wash the pot and there's no more bread in it anyway <laughs> the next day. Um, that just keeps your crust from getting too hard. You know when you buy a sourdough loaf at the store and it feels like you need a chainsaw to get into it? I personally do not care for that kind of sourdough. So if you want a soft crust, you just keep the lid of your Dutch oven, keep it in a sealed spot. You can put it in a different pot, a different container, whatever you want. I would just recommend a container with a lid. Look at that beautiful loaf, you guys. That's how easy it is. You can make artisan bread at home with minimal effort. And this is a beautiful, delicious loaf. We didn't do anything fancy. We didn't follow any of the fancy methods. We didn't follow any of the fancy rules. We are a little bit lax with our starter. We're a little bit lax with our times and it still produces beautiful bread that tastes amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. In my next video, number five in this series, I will be showing you how I manage making daily bread and the daily bread tasks that I do to bake a loaf and make a loaf. So I have a loaf for my family every single day. If you're into daily bread making, then check that video out in two days from now. I hope you enjoyed. Please, if you guys work your way through this series and you make sourdough, if you're on social media, please tag me. I wanna see your sourdough loaves, especially if these are like your first loaves. Um, just show me your loaves, share the loaf joy. I'm so excited for you guys to get baking. I know there's so many people that have messaged me saying, I can't make bread, like I'm so bad at it. It keeps failing, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just wanna encourage you and say anybody can make bread. It's like gardening. I believe anybody can do these things. I believe you can do these things. We just have to keep it simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. And I'm so excited to see the loaves of bread you make. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.